Hello, people. Good to have you here again. Thank you so much for being here. And, you know, we give you trending, exciting, reliable and authentic happenings in Nigeria and more. And, uh, you know what? It is that uh, a door pulls and uh, right here, uh, Obaseki seemed to have a uh, favor on his side because it seemed like two senators from the PDP are right behind him because these two senators are still very much uh, in government and uh, that would also boost his, uh, you know, his chances. But really, can that really boost his chances? Anyway, we're here to find out and uh, see more about this. But you know how we do it before we bring you details of that. If you haven't subscribed, please do and also ensure you give this video a thumbs up. And thank you guys for always being here. Let us dive right into the details of these reports without wasting much of your time as it says that uh, at least two senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria should count on Mr. Godwin or Baseki. He may get their support because they still serve their respective senatorial district and they are very loyal to their constituents. The governor of Edo State is seeking re-election for a second term and after a protracted dispute, he chose the People's Democratic Party to leave the APC. Edo State has three separate districts, Edo South, Edo North, and Edo Central Senatorial District. This means that Edo State has three senators as other states of the federations. The People's Democratic Party, PDP, won two out of the three seats from the state district in the last general election. And this would definitely improve Obaseki's chances because the senators would undoubtedly work for the PDP and its nominee in September elections. Mr. Matthew Urogide governs the Senate district in Edo State. In 2019, he polished 135,588, which received 121,957 votes and defeated the APC nominee Patrick Obiahyagbo. By about 14,000 votes, the PDP nominee, who is now a senator in the Senate chamber, defeated both the APC and its nominee. That's cool, yeah. Mr. Oroge there knows that his 2023 future election success depends on how Edo State may come from the PDP. We may assume that APC is currently in control of Edo State, but Senator Urogide has to work with the PDP so that the PDP cannot suffer a setback from his own victory. Senator Clifford Odia and Obaseki, the PDP Senator Clifford Odia, represents Edo Central in the Senate House at the 2019 general elections with about 56,048 uh, PDP Senate Senators met John in of 4,958 uh, for the APC. Senator Odia, like Urogide, must understand that the sources of the PDP is its own achievement and must work with Mr. Godwin or Bahasaiki during the planned governor, governor, uh, gubernatorial election. The PDP could boast of two out of three senators from Edo State, which is pretty good and means that the future is clear for Godwin Obaseki. The APC only controls the Senate's district of Edo North. Shomole and Odige Oyegu, the two senators are very famous and strong in their support in 2019. They challenged the governing the governing of all progressive congress and won comfortably mr adams shamala was the national chairman of the apc at the time of the challenge and john ogide Oyegu and a host of other apc forces were there too however the two senators won the pool senator clifford odia and urogide senator matthew now the now that obaseki is in the pdp the two strong senators are certainly going to make him win the election yes that is it guys you know what yeah but you know elections uh do doesn't actually run like that if you uh, run your hopes on man thinking that okay they are here to support you because of course you never can tell 
what could happen in the last minute but really they are from pdp and of course they run uh their senatorial uh, districts in edo state under the platform of the people's democratic party pdp so definitely they should want their party to be the winning party even when it has to do with the uh, governorship election because of course it's a boost for them not just uh on their senatorial level it's also a boost for them on the state level and not just on the state level it's also a boost for them if they are going for any other positions house of assembly and the likes because there's always a good there's always a good effect when uh, the sitting governor is in a particular party you're likely to get most of the senatorial seats and all the likes from that same party we know how election run in nigeria and how politics is being played in nigeria so definitely that is how it should be so it's expected of these two senators to stay behind the back of uh, you know their candidates for the uh, governorship uh, gubernatorial election in Edo State, which is a uh, uh, Godwin Obaseke, and of course is running mid Philip Shaibu. So it doesn't have to be because oh APC is my brother or this you know it has to do this is politics and it has to do with uh, you know uh, party and it is good that you support your party if you're loyal to your party stay loyal to your party. So definitely these senators. Should should also work just as they were able to defeat the APC because um, of course you can see the margin to which they beat the APC hands down in their uh, senatorial bid you know they said uh, Mr. Orogidi actually won the APC with about uh, you know 14,000 votes you know he won the APC with about 14,000 votes different that is huge and you know he was uh, he, he actually had 135,000 588 and you know APC had 121,957 votes so the margin was so high with about 14,000 so the same energy I believe he used in winning that election should you know it should also resurrect that uh, kind of uh, momentum to ensure that the party wins the general election in the uh, you know the state and it also boils down to the PDP working together as a family to ensure that that the party wins uh, the state election because that will also help them in the general election now that they are trying to get one or two states you know uh, coming back i'm very sure that uh, they should also work on you know trying to start little by little because if they do not work together to win state elections i wonder how they want to run in the general election in 2023 because it is the number of states, governors and senators and the likes that you have that will also give you so many chances of winning the next election. But of course, you are not God. We are not God. Only God knows which party is going to be the ruling party in 2023. It might even be that none of this, uh, you know, uh, a party that looks like they're relevant now, they might not even surface when it comes to 2023, just as no one knew that uh, there was going to be a pandemic in 2020. So everything all belongs to God. And we believe that, uh, you know, uh, 2023, the best will emerge. And, uh, you know, Nigerians are not sleeping. And we're praying for good governance and we're praying for, uh, everyone that will be contesting that you know that god should give us uh, you know good leadership so that the country can be a better place for everyone instead of uh, everyone thinking of leaving the country for who 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 is not really yes nigeria now our own so we all have to put our hands together to ensure that nigeria becomes great again i know so many people have lost hope and believe that nigeria can be great again but of course god knows the end from the beginning and he knows that uh, nigeria is a country that he actually loves and definitely you will also see that at the end of the day nigeria is going to be great again we have hopes and we have beliefs and that is all that matters we all we need is faith and work and when we work things out everything is going to be fine but really we, what 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 is wrong in nigeria is because good people do not come into governance and good people keep complaining that there are so many bad people in government but when the good ones have refused to come out what do you expect the bad ones will continue to work hard and be there so it is good that everyone that believes he can govern he believes he can lead the people right why don't you come out? Why don't you uh, think of something? You can start small, but definitely you will get there. So I believe that everyone in diaspora in Nigeria, that you think you can also be a good leader, 
it's time for us to all come home and ensure that our country is better and we can serve our country and ensure that uh, we can be at par with other growing economies of the world so guys that is it there's no much to this all we need is good governance and the good ones should have to come out so that nigeria can be great again so my people that is it thank you so much it is a state election here and there and everyone is talking about it and we hope that the best person emerges at the end of the day so guys thank you so much for staying tuned if you haven't subscribed please do and also ensure you give this video a thumbs up do have a pleasant time bye for now